that else thing is funny. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I think negative 57 is not bad. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say negative 57 is decent. I think it's decent. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villman, a.k.a. That Villman Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Because tonight, we are running uh, a little bit of, well, not quite elf ball, but maybe a little bit of elf ball. We're not using the fireball finisher. Y'all know what elf ball is? That's an old thing. Get an absolute swarm of the mana generating elves, go nuts, and crash, cast crazy big spells. Um, we had an outline concept with Dark Elves. I wasn't happy with how it works. Maybe we'll come back to that. And then a good friend of the channel, Hillbilly MTG, said, Jay, I got a mono green deck. Maybe you could work on it. And I kind of put my own spin on it here. And, uh, when it comes to, uh, when it comes to forests and, uh, you know, the deep dark woods, you got to trust the Hillbilly. So this is going to be my version of the Hill Elves here. Um ramping stomping crazy with some nice finishers that you're going to be really surprised at here before we get down to it though i need you to do something for me which is of course tenderly press that like button gently press that subscribe button because if you don't if you don't press that like and subscribe button guys i'm going to be honest with you you're gonna get attacked by the like and subscribe which you may or may not know is a youtube werewolf who will viciously maul you and claw you and attack you for not liking the video right down there and subscribing to the channel today Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for our live stream. And goodness, we'd love to have you there live and in person on Twitch. Yeah, we're almost at 3,000 followers on Twitch. And I think I'll do a giveaway at, at 3,000, so that could be you. Check it out. Go right down there to the description, link in the description. Check out our Discord community for all the latest news, information, post your decks, post memes, anything else. Ask questions is all there in the Discord. And of course, this deck and all the other decks that I build are going to be available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want a copy of this one, this crazy green elf deck, go right down to the video, the Aether Hub. Boom, boom, boom. So that all being said, what are we talking about? Well, I think probably one of the most uh, happy things that people had. People were ecstatic that Llanowar Elves is reprinted. Yeah, Llanowar Elves is legal and standard for the first time and I don't know how long, but a while. Um, this is a classic. I, I think this originally came out. My Maybe my brain is shot. Did it come out in alpha? Let's say it came out in alpha. One green, one one, add one green mana. Elf Druid. It is a ramper. It lets you put down a three drop on turn two, which can I tell you, in the game of Magic the Gathering, that is really, really good. That is really fantastic to do that. So, uh, that's our number one ramper. Hopefully it'll survive. If we're going to go with Lanawar even more, we're going to go with Lanawar Stalker. A suspicious, um, a suspiciously powerful, people often don't realize how powerful this is, a common card from, uh, from, uh, Invasion, the new Invasion block right there. A uh, one green, one one, another Lanawar, whenever another creature enters, Lanawar Stalker gets plus one to the end of turn. Now, everyone thinks this happened once. I think people overlooked it. But no, if you put five creatures on the board, this thing becomes plus five. You know what I mean? So it's very good for the early game. Turn one, you put that down. And then turn two, you can put something down like... Um, you can put something down like a Dwynar's, uh, Dwynin's Elite and you get plus three. Uh, it's plus three and you can hit for three on turn two, which is not half bad. Now, everyone's going to be going after your mana generators and your pump spells and your com and your captains, your elf captains. That's why you got to run a little bit of protection. Honestly, if you wanted to run more protection, I would be mad at you. I'm going to go with Royal Treatment, which is one green instant. Target creature you control gains hexproof until the end of turn. Create a Royal Roll attached to that creature. Royal Roll, of course, is plus one, plus one, and has Ward one, meaning it harder to kill later and bigger pump right there. Stay your blades, peasants. Very nice. Um... So if they're trying to play early removal on your on your rampers, if they're trying to play removal on your on your important cards, this is going to be essential. Druid of the Cowl. Not sure if we want uh, a lot of these. I feel like you could probably get away with two and be fine and maybe do something else. But three or two, 
I definitely think another Ramper is fine, especially at that nice 1-3 for 2, and you generate more mana as we go. Helps you ramp a little bit. The Parallax style looks awesome with that blowing banner. Um, really good art. It's also a good blocker. 1-3 on 2 is not bad for a blocker, especially when it starts getting pumped as we go with the extra mana. Not a bad card right there. Pretty solid foundation card. There you go. Um, Di Dynan's, Dwynan's Elite. This is a fun one right here, especially, like I said, comp combined with Lanawar Stalker. Um, one green and one two two. Whenever this creature enters, if you control another elf, <clears throat> meaning a different elf besides this Dwynan's Elite, <coughs> you create another 1-1 one, one token, 1-1 uh, one, one elf warrior token. Creating two creatures, a 2-2 two, two, and a 1-1 one, one for two mana is pretty good, especially when you're going to go wide and especially when you're hitting off something like uh, uh, Elvish Archdruid. That is really going to help you build a humongous board and go nuts on it. So that's going to be really nice. A Suspicious Elf. This is a reprint. Um... A suspiciously good and useful elf. I actually might even say put four of these potentially or sideboard them. One green and one, two, one, reach, death touch. Love the death touch. This is going to stop your flyers. This is going to be your anti-demon tech right here. Reach and death touch, of course, if it does one damage to anybody, it dies. Great blocker. People get scared of this guy because they're like, okay, well, my flyer's going to die and I can't attack too much. But a two, one, aggressive for two, pretty solid and pretty cheap too. All right, so that's not a bad tech to have for protection purposes. Leaf Crown Visionary. Uh, Dominaria. Yeah, another Dominaria card right here. Elf Druid with this great leaf armor. It looks more like a merfolk, to be honest. Two green. Other elves you control get one, one. It has a lovely captain effect. I call them captain effects. Some people call them anthem effects. I always refer to these ones as captains. Um, whenever you cast an elf spell, this is important. I think this is why you need four of those. You may pay one green. If you do, draw a card. Middle to late game, uh, when you start putting down one, one elves like crazy and one and in your start, you have a lot of mana, you can start drawing cards like crazy, which is a huge advantage. So not only does it have the lovely captain anthem effect on it to pump everybody up, uh, the fact that you're able to refresh your hand as you're playing, uh, creatures is going to be extremely useful right there as long as you have the mana and you're going to have a lot of mana from what you're playing right there so good stuff uh imperious perfect let's go to the three drop elves right here imperious perfect this is a reprint um really cool i like this one it's another captain effect another anthem effect one green two three drop two two other elves you control get plus one plus one so we're getting a few of these we're gonna actually gonna be antheming up pretty big and that's kind of the idea we want to get to the point where a, a one one elf on its own is not dangerous if everyone is a five five that's when things start getting out of control okay that's when things are untenable you also have the ability to pay one green and generate an elf warrior token as you go every single turn you could do that and don't forget guys you can do that on your off turn as well you could play that at the end of your opponent's turn they attacked or whatever or they're about to attack you can just play one green generate an elf token use it to block or have it next turn to attack because it won't come in with summoning sickness if you create it on your opponent's turn really useful card for a three block a three drop i'm actually going to throw some reclamation sages in here um I, uh, this was a good recommendation by Hillbilly, to be honest the main reason is you could put enchantment and artifact destruction as a instant for two or pay that extra mana and have it as an elf that you could potentially draw a card off of it's another blocking body uh you may destroy an artifact or enchantment so you don't always have to like accidentally destroy one of your own or something like that yeah your your big problem of course is going to be like a temporary lockdown so if you want to sideboard more of these i'm not mad at you if you're going to get enchantment destruction or anything like that i'm not mad at you for sideboarding more of these to make sure that you don't get hit with any kind of major enchantment or artifact shenanigans elvish archdruid now this is where things get crazy okay this is what's going to lead to uh things going wild if you want to put four of these i don't i'm not mad at you um it is amazing. Okay, this guy is powerful. This guy is old for an elf, and you know how elves, how long elves live. Uh, yeah. Two green and one, two, two, another anthem effect. Other elves you control get plus one, plus one, and you add one green mana for each elf you control. This is kind of what we're looking for, okay? This is kind of the combination play that's going to pop off and let us play our huge plays right here, which I'm going to tell you about right now. Um, so... 
If you have five elves, you tap him, you get five green mana. Combined with already the mana that you have down, now you're talking about the big, 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 big combo plays that finish the game, okay? Um, those big combo plays are gonna be twofold. Genesis Wave, which is a great card right here. Uh, three green and X. Reveal the top X cards of your library. You put, you may put any number of permanents cards with mana value X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Then put all cards revealed this way that weren't put onto the battlefield into your graveyard. If you Arch Druid, basically you can go like uh, Lanawar Elves um, into Dwynen's Elite into Arch Arch uh, Elvish Arch Druid. And then all of a sudden you have three elves on the board. You could play another one. Uh, you could play three or four elves. You add four mana and then tap your other four mana. You're playing this for five. Meaning that you look at the top five cards of your library and put anything with mana value five or less down onto the board. That's pretty much five free elves or manas that you can immediately cast. They don't come in tap. They come in immediately and uh, you get them all for free. If you go crazy, if you already have a huge board, you could tap this for 10. I've done it for 10. And you basically put every single card into your, the top 10 cards of your deck onto the board. And then all of a sudden, everything is anthemming out. They're all six sixes. There's a million of them. Everything is pumping. You know, it, it, it gets to a ridiculous combination degree for Genesis Wave. It is such a good combo play for right that. That's our elf ball right there that we're going to do. You want another elf ball? You want to go even crazier? Go for an overrun, too. That's a five drop right there. That's another great finisher uh, from Foundations right here. Creatures you control get plus three, plus three, and gain trample until the end of turn. Again, turn five, turn six, playing that, you know, playing a bunch of other elves. Everybody get plus three and trample and just finishing with a huge board, tons of Antum effects, tons of tokens, and just just absolutely beating them down with an overrun. So that's another great way to spend your other mana. But if you want to sink them into a, a, a if you want to sink a huge amount of mana from everything you're generating, Genesis Wave is going to be your friend right there. That's going to be our ball to our elf ball. We're going to finish it off with Dwinin Guilt Leaf Dane. Wow, that has a really complicated name right there. This is who they're talking about when they talk about. Uh, Dwinen right here is um, <laughs> this person right here. Dwinen Guilt Leaf Dane. Two green and two four drop. Our biggest elf yet. Three four with reach. Very useful for our flyers. Another anthem effect, guys. Yes, there are three anthem effect cards in this. Actually, four anthem effect cards in this. So we want to go crazy. And whenever Dwinen attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf you control. When you swing in, you can generate a huge amount of life. Um... You can generate a huge amount of life and actually recover from any of the hits you were taking. Fantastic elf warrior combination play right there. There are only four drop on there right there. And of course, uh, our only four drop creature, five drop being the overrun right there. I'm going to go with two Soulstone Sanctuaries, which is a new card from Foundations. Um, add one add one of any mana or it you pay four and it permanently becomes a 3-3 Vigilance with all creature types, meaning that it is an elf. As a matter of fact, it is a wandering elf stone. Uh, so it's going to get all your other effects. Two Cavern of Souls to choose Elf on so you don't get counterspelled. And 19 Forest right there for your uh, combination play. This is a standard deck, believe it or not. This is not alchemy. This is standard. 31 creatures, 31 elves. We're doing Genesis Ball right here. Um, elf Genesis. Uh, maybe hey, maybe that's what we're, we'll call the deck. Two instants, uh, five sorceries, 23 lands, and a 2.4. We really could probably go down with less lands because we have so much mana generation, and it kind of sucks when you draw the uh, other lands. But the problem is we have to make sure that we get a smooth land draw when we put it in. So if we don't get those initial, if we don't basically get three land initially, we're kind of stuck. Uh, you know, yeah. basically what I'm saying is that if you don't make sure that you're getting your three and four drop lands, you're going to basically be in trouble uh, the whole time. You're not going to you're you're not going to be able to cast your stuff, even though you're generating land. So you, it's hard to go 22. But either way, it does help. And the card draw does help either. So that's what we're looking like for the sideboard. I'm going to say maybe a little bit more protection. Gaia's Gift is not a bad one to get reach, trample, hexproof, indestructible. Um, it's not bad to get all of those at once. It is a two drop plus one, one counter on a creature reach trample indestructible and hexproof is not bad. 
catch somebody in the air or trample over. Another snakeskin veil is not bad. Um, maybe another overrun if you're having if you're having trouble busting through. Another overrun wouldn't help. Then we have all the different banners that. Um, uh, then we have all the different banners that definitely help here. Heraldric banner, choose green. Everyone gets plus one. You get the extra mana. Patchwork banner. Uh, choose the creature type of elf, boom, or banner of kinship, which is new from foundations. You would choose elf, and then everyone would get a fellowship counter for each elf you have. So if you get plus five, each creature gets plus five. Big play right there. I'm not a little worried about that five cost right there, but chaos told me to put it in. So we're throwing it in there. So I think the only other um, is you might want removals. If you want to do something like a fight creature you control, uh, that's not a bad idea if you want to do like a bushwhack or a battle or a tail swipe if you really need to put removal that's really your only option for green i'm not worried about it the main thing that i'm going in for is just overwhelming and pounding them out as opposed to trying to hit removal with these but it is a possibility i have to mention it for you so that's what we're looking at right there let's get into some games we are ranking up in diamond with this one um we're going to make some big diamond plays. Don't forget to subscribe to the second channel where we're going to be opening up a whole box of foundations. Uh, so, yeah, you don't want to miss that. And, um, of course, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Make sure to like the video. Here we go. Let's get into it. So that's kind of the idea behind it. Yeah, we have this cool combo in it, but the combo is a centerpiece to an already delicious buffet of violence. That's what we want. We want violence. Um, dee 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 Ragna. Ragna rocks. So that's kind of the that's kind of the idea. That's J Villain's theory of deck building. Salon's cope. Boom. No, he's not gonna Salon's Lord Keeper. Remember that when that was the fucking King one right there? Tranquil Frillback. It's so tranquil. It's so frilly. Hey, look, Genesis Wave. Boom. All right, a little bit of modification. We're getting some proper elf ball going here, uh, MTG Hillbilly. Hillbilly, Hillbilly, Hillbilly. We're getting some proper, uh, proper elf ball going. Uh, Genesis Wave is is next. We're gonna fucking Genesis Wave the fuck out of him. Uh, cause oh the Galtese Falcon. Look at that. Ooh, we might not be able to Genesis Wave him. Holy shit! Look at that. All right. Well, well, he didn't go for it. All right. So we will add five. Five. We'll add five here. Wow. That was fucking trash. That was so bad. Oh my god, that was so bad. That was...
was so fucking bad, you guys. Oh my god, that was so fucking... We pulled fucking that much mana. Polini's Hatcher. Oh my god. That was the worst fucking Genesis wave ever, bro. Oh my god. I thought I had him, man. Alright, let's go. Auto pay. Another fucking... Let's see if we can actually hit a Genesis wave off this time, boys. Um, let's see if we can really elf ball. Uh, where are you? There you go. Ten! Alright. We'll play fucking ten. Let's see if it's all fucking mana this time. Choose up to nine. Okay, that's proper elf ball right there. Black was slowing us down. That was a proper... That's a proper elf ball right there. There you go. Genesis wave, good idea. We hit a shit Genesis wave early on, but... Uh, good stuff. We'll go for... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go forward with that, maybe seeing where we can go with that. Jason Flood, how you doing? Uh, Sumalia Chatterjee, welcome. We all need some real luck because the boss is the shuffler. Hell yeah, I know what you mean, man. I know what you mean. Chris Chaos, of course. It's not a stream without Chris Chaos. Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto, Dorian Black, how you doing? Uh, plain Milk. Welcome everybody. Near Studios. He had some good luck with Golgari Elves. I had more luck with Green Elves than Golgari Elves. So we're gonna see what happens tonight. Um, that sucks, but we can play Reclamation Sage to get rid of it. Boom. Boom. Go for Nice. Hopefully he doesn't kill it, because otherwise I'll need another mana to drop three. Boom. Uh, Reclamation Sage should be good, but hopefully he doesn't play another removal. He may. He may be running nothing but removal in Arch Council. Authority of the Councils. Oh, Danny boy. Now we're fucked. We're fucked. Yeah, we're totally fucked. We can't, we can't do anything. We didn't hit the, uh, we didn't hit the mana. We're fucked here. Shuffler just basically said no. Shuffler and Matchmaker just said, nah, fam, you're good. He's gonna play another removal. There you go. Into the flood again. Well, out of the flood. We didn't get any mana there. Thank you so much for the two bucks, Jason Flood. Um, dropped Reclamation Sage. There's a land. Take action. Alright. Chicken and Dane. Alright, so let's do this. Some things never change, no. You know it, Stormblood. You remember what it is. I 
I should have put both of the one ones on that and swung in, but we'll see now. We'll see. Probably another removal, or he's going to hit the four sacrifice. Thank you for following Roaming Boss. Thank you so much. Pine of Fire 3 Lee Avatar for me. Um, so mine was made by uh, ICPJs. Um, and uh, I use Vroid Studio to touch it up. And then uh, I use... Um, uh, what do I use? VC face to, um, I use VC face to, uh, make it a little bit, to use the animation. So, it's V, S, E, 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 like C, face. Audio is cutting in and out for you. Well, welcome, Roman boss. Try to re try to renew it. Try to refresh. It might it might get better. Go in. Gain life. Try to go infinite on me here. It's cutting in and out. Weird. Try refreshing. It's the only advice that I really have. Uh, plain milk. He might get he might get runned out. A family of Japanese Japanese raccoon dogs. <laughs> Tanuki family, okay, I get it. I get it. That's pretty good. V C face, yes. Or one, boom. That's still gonna do it right there. Oh my god, I can't believe he get ran out of gas that fast. Twitch says YouTube is Twitch says the uh, um Twitch says that the audio is fine. YouTube is the one complaining. Tanuki family. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Tanuki family. How you been doing, Stormblood? You done any audio lately, Stormblood? You doing still doing audio edits? Very nice. All right, let's buy a pack real quick. Slimy Dual Leech. Look at that. Uh, let's go to the store. We got enough cash for a pack. Let's see what we get in a gross pack right here. So Vesky. Boop, boop, boop. Mythic rare, what do we got? Oh no, it's a Simic card, gross. Well, there's a Lanawar Elves. Okay. All right. I'm finding it's very hard to collect foundations because so many of the cards I already have Fora from another set. So I don't even need to craft them. Do I have a favorite deck of the last ones you posted? They're all too good. I really like the vampires. I really like the skeletons. I, I it's it's hard to choose your favorite children. You know, it's there's Genesis Wave, which I can usually hit off. The Finn deck, you know, I forgot Finn was fucking in in this set even, but of course we got to do a Golgari Finn with Poison again. Poison is back. Uh, I I've been working on it. I know about. it. I used to run Finn a lot. Um. You can run a very, very bad Finn aggro. Like, a very punishingly bad Finn aggro. For realistically. Uh, it's impressive how, how fucking rough the Finn aggro can be. Yeah, I needed the Thornwield Archer for the Reach and the Death Touch right there. That would have been the, uh, the ideal grab. Probably gonna play early removal. No, he's gonna play a little bit of. Okay. Do leaf crown. 
Hit him with that Holy Spirit. Boom. Um, Dwine's Elite, and then draw a card. If he doesn't kill Leaf Ground Visionary. Death Wolves. That was the wrong one to go for. Okay, he'll take it too. Boom. Draw an extra card. It's another Genesis Wave. Boom. Boom. Again. Boom. Okay. Skeleton Acceleration or Kill. Who's too light? Boom. I'll take the two. No worries there. Leaf Crown Visionary for more pump. Draw a Crad. Boom. Boom. Go in. Boom. Boom. I think I can do a 2x Genesis Wave and go and do a 4x Genesis Wave. I think that that's not terrible. Probably going to play more kills. Let's see what he runs here. Yeah, he just has a biting obsession. That was pretty funny. I just like biting. Why you guys got to fuck with me? Okay, so he's running a lot of kill cards here. That's fine. Imperius Perfect. Okay, let's put down Imperius Perfect. Let's do no attacks, and let's do a 3 Genesis Wave followed by a 3 Genesis Wave. We can create a token. Perfect, so... 3, 3... Grab some crap here. All right. Death Wolves. Yeah, that's an old one, man. I love Death Wolves. Uh, yeah. Any kind of Death Touch. You know what I miss is that Scorpion that whenever a creature with Death Touch attacked, you, um, you lost a bunch of life. That was really cool. That was a really good one. Alright, let's say Elf. Boom. Let's say Elf Druid. Boom. Boom. Activate ability. Boom. Boom. Alright, no Genesis Wave. Genesis Wave will, will hit for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's gonna activate that. Hopefully he doesn't kill my Arch Druid or whatever. He'll just swing in and be happy with that. Life, create token. Oh, there's Arch Druid. Okay, so that's five. That's five. That's three and two. Three and two plus. Seven is nine. <laughs> Do you play Commander in your free time? I'm generally hired for the Final Fantasy drop. I do play a little Commander every now and again. I'm not a big Commander player. I'm not huge on it. Uh, so that's why I don't... Uh, I don't constantly Command up. But uh, I do play every now and again. I've opened some Commander products and done some Brawl decks in the past too. So I'm not, uh, not anti-Commander by any means. Um...
boom. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, that's not bad. Race the Oblivion. Is he going to swing in by accident because he doesn't see the Reach? What do you say that he thinks he sees the Reach or not sees the Reach? What are the chances? Leyline Axe could be fun. Yeah, that could be fun. I don't think he survives this hit, though, man. I, you know. Kodama was a cool card. Yeah, Kodama was a big... Oh, he doesn't see it. He doesn't see it. He thought he... He thought he was... Psych, bro. You thought... Thought, bro. That's the elf ball for you. It's a big hit. I know I'm not casting fireball, but uh, I still like to call these decks F elf ball. I think it's funny. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I think negative 57 is not bad. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say negative 57 is Dece. I think it's Dece. I know a lot of people are going to say, Jay, negative 57, that's not dead enough. You didn't kill him hard enough. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say, I think he we got him pretty good. Uh... Uh, let's talk about that overrun. Everyone keeps saying overrun, and I've been ignoring it. Let's let's look at some overrun. You know. Um. Boom. What's it called? Yeah, overrun. All right, it's plus three, plus three, and trample. What could we get rid of that? Reclamation Sage isn't doing much much good. Overrun is not a bad idea. We could also sideboard it, but we'll put one in there. Craft that. Boom. Save and exit. Cra Reclamation Sage does help a little bit. Leyline Axe, I'm worried about drawing it late in the game and being a dupe spell there. Uh, that's that's my biggest concern, is that we're going to draw it late in the game and it's just not... It doesn't hit hard. I know it's great to open with. But honestly, I think like a Boros Equipment, that's your best bet for your Leyline Axe. <laughs> It's not the worst. It's not the best. It's not the worst. We'll put down our stalker. Boom. Okay. Put down that. Because we can actually do. Boom. Get him for two. Battle boss layer. If we have a enchantment situation, I can start killing him. Spell the vendor. Very nice. All right, so let's put that down. I think he'll keep it. I don't think he's going to block because he wants those. Okay. So if we get a mana, I, I'll rec I'll reclaim for three. I'll do, I mean, uh, I'll Genesis for three. I hope he doesn't have Sheltered by Ghost. That's going to be the problem. He's got Dollmaker Shot, which is, you know, that's fine. A mana would be perfect so I can reclaim for three very rapidly. Rapid response, uh... Rapid response on it. Either way, I can get down Gwyn. Boom. Lanowar Elves is fine. We put down Gwyn Gwyn here. Uh, I'll put down another one of those. Put pressure on him. Boom. Okay, I can Genesis Wave if he doesn't have a Sunfall. Um, worried about a Sunfall. Enduring Innocence. 
I don't feel like this is a Sunfall type of deck, though. That's the, that's the thing. I'm not getting Sunfall vibes from this guy. Hey, what's up, Eclipse Rider? How you doing? How you doing, Eclipse Rider? All right, let's do this. Sometimes they quit when this happens. So that's going to be a five. That's going to this is going to be four. One, two, three, four. I'll pay. It wasn't great, but we do get that. We do get this. You get to push in pretty aggressively here. Boom. You know, it's very, it's very mixed. There's, there's people who don't care. There's people who are excited. Uh, and there's people who are like, this is the worst thing that ever happened. And I'm quitting magic forever. Um, so you're getting a lot of mixed responses. Um, based on that. You're getting a lot of mixed responses. Or Lord of the Mist, maybe that's not going to help. Because uh, I'm going to beat the hell out of you. I don't think we're going to lose anybody, man. I think all the people talking about death of magic, it's over. You know, magic is washed, etc., etc., and so forth. I think they're full of crap. I don't think anybody's really leaving this shit. Uh... I don't believe it. Or rather, I'll I'll believe it when I see it, man. That that doesn't seem like something that anybody's really doing. So let's push in with everything we got. Making your way in the world today. Pushing everything you got. It will bring in new fan base. But I think people are protesting way too much. I think people are, are way too mad about it. I think they're overreacting. Now, you're, everyone's allowed to have their own opinion on it. You're allowed to feel however you feel. I'm allowed to have my opinion too. And as somebody who's been playing since 1994... Uh... You know, I'm not that upset. I'm an old head. I don't care. This is an this is an ongoing phenomenon that's that's going to exist in the gaming space. Um forever. It's it's gonna go on until it stops making money. So this is not something that is unique to magic. This is something that will occur. Um I'm glad, Dern Dernan. Welcome to the show. This is something that is going on in Call of Duty, in Fortnite, in everything. Everybody is... Uh, everybody is duplicated. Everybody is in involving new properties. Um, it's It's gonna happen. And until it stops being profitable, it's gonna happen. I'm, I, I wish it were I wish it were different. Honestly, it's a trend, and chasing trends is never the greatest thing to do. Um, but uh, it's there's not much we can do about it. Since yeah, since it's gonna be 1990, it's gonna be 30 years in December. I actually remember specifically when I. Uh, Believe it or not, I remember specifically when I got into Magic. It was when I went to my cousin's house in Detroit in 1994. And he had just got some of the Dark cards. Because the summer of 94, I believe, the Dark came out. And that's when we first played it in our fucking Michigan basement down there. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was when we did it. He's gonna like bolt wave or something. He's gonna smack me with a. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. He's gonna go in. I'll take the three. That's fine. Overrun is a fun one.
description. Yeah, I had a lot of revised, a lot of the dark Arabian Nights, Legends. Uh, yeah, that's when I first started playing. And I, I have not played consistently through that time. I, I can't say that I've played every single year, every single release, but I have been playing since then. I played through 4th edition, revised. I played from probably about 94 to 2000, 2001. And then I played from, uh, after that, from, from then I played, uh, let's do the overrun. She's got a burn, maybe. Burn unit. Boom. Then I picked it up again in about 2010. I On and off, you know, I paid attention here and there, and maybe I played a casual game, but I was not a regular player. 2010, I picked it up again. Um, and I played consistently till about 2017. Then I moved and kind of fell off, and then I picked it up again. But like, 2016, 2017, it fell off. 2018, 19, I got into it, and then Arena came out. So, yeah, the, oh, I'm sorry, Tanuki, yeah, the anger over uh, Universes Beyond, yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah, that's what we're talking about right now. People are very upset about it. Am I going to post this deck tomorrow? Yes, it would appear so. This deck is doing quite well. I will post this deck tomorrow, yeah. This is not a great hand, but I'll go for it because I go first. You started with Lorwyn. I didn't care for Lorwyn. That's part of the reason I didn't come back. As a matter of fact, people talk about stuff they don't like. I didn't really like when they introduced Planeswalkers. As you can see, I'm not the hugest Planeswalker fan. Um, I was agnostic on Planeswalkers for a long time. I really didn't. I really didn't care that much. I, I was originally initially didn't like them, and people always talk about the lore and blah 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 blah. Yeah, I mean the original lore of Magic is that you specifically were a planeswalker um and so summoning planeswalkers didn't really make sense but people liked them i wasn't a big fan of them i didn't cotton to them for a long time and i still don't really play them that much planeswalkers are a new mechanic to me <laughs> when you've had 15 years of playing planeswalkers are a new mechanic you know um your zombie skelly is amazing thank for that man thank you so much brainhead i appreciate that I'm glad you like it. He's gonna get the plus four. He's gonna go in. Boof. My turn. Genesis wave. We'll put down Dryad Leap. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, do that. Probably gonna play the pump. Oof. Okay. Genesis Wave doesn't really have enough mana to go the distance here. Uh, Reclamation save is not a bad idea. Let's do this. Take action. Boom. Okay, we'll hold 
hold steady. We really need a pumper right there. Only name I've heard of from back when I was every night MTG is is villain. Tanuki, yeah, Tanuki's family is here and Tanuki's on Twitch. I don't mind the universes beyond. It's whatever, man, you know. The game changes, the game evolves. 15 years from now, when I'm old and my eyesight is failing me and the darkness grows long, there's going to be people on Twitter on probably not Twitter because that'll probably be a dead website, but there are going to be people on Blue Sky going, man, I hate these new quantum cards. I remember back in the day we had good normal cards like Final Fantasy and SpongeBob like I grew up with. You know, that's that's what's going to happen, man. That's just the nature of time. People got to take the long view, man. You know, have fun with it. It's a game. It's going to pump. Not really happy about that. Not much I can do about that. Didn't really hit some good combo plays here. Genesis Wave for 5 seems like it could do something, but uh, I'll save myself a little trouble there. Um, but I do need a Archer. A Mana or some sort of Pump would be good. It's probably going to fling. Yeah, that's going to be good. Yeah, it didn't really get... Against this kind of aggro, there's not much you can do against this Rakdos, but... Two Log Tam. Everyone keeps telling me that Kato is fucking ridiculous. I, I haven't yet to play him. I don't... What's so broken about him? Um, what What about him is just like... Utterly wrecks the game. I, I, I'm not... I'm confused still. I haven't played him yet, so I don't really know. Um, okay, let's keep that. Ops goes first, which isn't great. We'll put down that on our stalker. He just draws like cards like crazy. Is that is that his thing? He just draws crazy cards. Hey, Silent Snow coming in with the big gift. Cheered 50 bits. Shave and a haircut. 50 bits. Boom. Let's go in. We'll cast Seven of Souls with Dwyer's Elite there. And we'll get a Genesis Wave. You can't be playing value. He'll probably grab a Royal Treatment. Oh, he grabbed Dwyer's. Okay. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go in on him. Boom. Really gotta draw something good here. Going to. My turn. That'll work. Elf. No. Green. Green. Into the flood again. Same old trip it was back then. Bop. Bop. So I made a big mistake. Try to see if one's my way. Am I wrong? Have I gone too far to get home? Am I wrong? Left you here a three. Uh, let's go for one. I mean, colorless. One more. Boom. Mess that up. Boom. Well, I did get that. Boom. Uh, go in. 
We still have protection. Okay. Thank you so much for the 50 bit snow. How you doing? Kato is, uh, am I doing a drag deck? Hell yeah, I'm doing a, yeah, Silent Snow is still here, of course. I don't know why he'd run that. A bit silly. Kaido is extremely difficult to kill as he gets a loyalty counter for every creature that he hits your opponent. Easy to get negative 9 where you get a 2-2 two -two every time anyone casts a spell. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have to ninja him up, man. I'll have to ninja the loot. I'll have to scoop the whoop and ninja that loot. You gotta shoot the whoop and ninja the loot. That's what you gotta do. By the way, if any of you are, is anyone on Blue Sky? I'm on Blue Sky. I like it way more than, than Twitter. Uh, I go first with not a lot of good plays. I can start with Leaf Crown, but we'll see. Heartfire hero. Hearts on fire. Your desire. Uh, if he pumps and burns, yeah, there's not much I can do there, so. We, we don't do good against red aggro if they're gonna go full fucking... If they're gonna go full hog on me here, it's not great. Do that. Choose elf. Pick that. We're gonna say yes. We'll draw it. An extra mana. Okay. Well, we're balling. We're starting to ball. Uh, Elvish Arch Druid. Let's see what happens here. He's just gonna do that again. No. Okay. Um, auto pay. Another one. Auto pay. Another one. Boom. Ten for that. Boom. Latasu. Is he just not? He just droughted. Is that basically what happened here? He just droughted the fuck out of himself. I don't see a situation where he can do... He could play inside out and fling and he'd get it. But I don't I don't think he has that. Yeah. We'll do this. We'll do Imperius Perfect. We'll draw a card. A line of War Elves. Decline. That. We'll go in for the royal treatment there. Okay. Donde esta todos? Dude, your old pod was silent snow? Yeah, but snow here too. Yeah, well, they're on. Some of the people are on YouTube snow. Your old pod was silent snow. Commander pod? Blockers, we'll block that. Let's switch rage. That's gonna be seven.
Boom. Very dangerous time bomb here of uh, Heartfire Hero. Yeah. He's going to probably fling it at me. We didn't, didn't get it. All right. Luck be a lady. Tell you what. Luck be a lady. Just want to pop in. Well, thank you so much for coming, Skylight. Don't forget to like the video on your way out, guys. You don't know how much liking the video helps, guys. It's the only thing that matters when it comes to YouTube is hitting those video likes. That's what makes them go viral. So you got to do it for me. All right, guys, we're going to leave it right there for tonight. Elf Ball, thanks to uh, Hillbilly. And if anything, if anybody knows anything about Hillbilly, hills and elves, they all go together, lives out in the deep forest. I know it's not true, Elf Ball, but it really does roll out of control, and especially with the other kind of combination plays. I like running Genesis Raid. Uh, Genesis Wave Overrun is, is a fun card. Um, it for sure is a fun card. Uh, we like to do that one. Um... You can really get out of control. You can really surprise people with this one. It's uh, it's a really fun deck, and I enjoy playing with it. I mean, Mono Green is kind of back, man. If you can rank with this in Diamond, I feel like it's safe to say Mono Green is a little bit back. In the meantime, I've been Jay Villain. You've been great. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.